Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Avira and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 232 samples in total. And we will be using these specific samples to see how well Avira does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in Avira. We'll let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own. After which we will run a system scan if there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly, and if there's any samples remaining after that, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Let's first make sure that we are up to date. At this point, we'll go ahead and turn on the real-time protection, and please note that when we go to security and click on protection, there are some protections that are not included in the free version. If you turn these on, it will request that you go ahead and update, and so or upgrade, rather, and so just please be aware that we do have the real-time protection, but there are other protections that are not fully included in the free version. So far, I haven't noticed anything pop up. Let's double check our samples folder. And it looks like we still have 232. Looks like everything is still there. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan. We will do a full scan. We will let this run until it's fully completed and we will be back with the results. The scan has completed and it looks like it found several results. And so it does look like everything's going to be moved to quarantine. So we're going to hit apply now. Actions have completed. So we'll go ahead and hit close and then end. And let's double check our samples folder. Looks like we have four remaining. So let's go ahead and scan directly. And it looks like nothing additional was detected. So at this point, we'll go ahead and execute the remaining samples. We executed the remaining and it looks like Avera did not stop them from executing, or at least I didn't notice anything pop up, but the executables are for sure still there. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which came back positive with three results. So we'll go ahead and quarantine. After another computer restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. So just a quick recap, we started with 232 samples of malware. We did let Avera sit for a few moments to see if it would detect anything on its own, after which we ran a full system scan. We also did a direct scan of the samples folder, and after all of that, there were four results remaining. Three of those results were removed by Malwarebytes, and I will note that... If we look at the samples folder, there is still a sample that was missed by Malwarebytes and MZSoft and Avera. So either this sample is a bad sample or it may just be too recent for any of them to detect. You can take those results and draw your own conclusions, but please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There are many, many other types of tests and Avera very well may perform differently in other types of tests. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, please go ahead and click on the join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.